Sir, I want to uh, go back to the earlier question about the 19-inch ballot image being placed on a 20-inch uh, paper. Did you hear of any reports of that occurring in the 2022 general election? I did not. Okay. If that occurred, would that be a failure of Maricopa County's election process? I'm not aware of it occurring and I'd be surprised if there was a, a ballot on demand printer that had a 19 inch ballot on it. Okay, uh, I understand that, sir. But and the reason occurred, why is we did not design a 2022 general election on a 19-inch ballot. That ballot does not exist. The only ballot that exists is a 20-inch ballot. Okay. And when you say we designed, who designed the ballot? Is that outsourced to another company, or is that done uh, in-house by Maricopa? In-house by Maricopa County staff. Who, who? What department would that staff fall under? Is there a specific name for it? Uh, our ballot tabulation team. So reports to me. Okay. And do you maintain records as to the ballot definition that was uh, created for the 2022 general election? Yes, we have records of all the ballots that were designed. And, and so I'll go back to my question again. If a 19 inch ballot image was put on a 20 inch paper in the 2022 general election, would that be a failure of your election process? It would, if something like that happened, which I don't know how it would, yes, it would have been a mistake. Um, could that have also been a deliberate act? Again, you're ask, asking me to speculate about things that I have no knowledge of occurring. So. I don't know if it could have been a deliberate act or not. I don't believe that that occurred. How much, how involved in you are you in creating the ballot definition? So my team does, and then I overview it and I'll review examples of those. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Jarrett. Don't have any further questions at this time.